today, the Red Crescent distributed aid on the outskirts of Yarmouk. Several thousand people have managed to flee to neighboring suburbs since Islamic State militants entered the camp on April the 1st. Local aid workers have also fled. The local organization inside the camp, they get some water from the wells, so they, uh, they were distributed this during the siege. Uh, but when ISIS controlled the camp, all the organizations inside the camp, they left it. They, they were uh, afraid, like us, the activist people and uh, the organizations, they left the camp. The famous picture from last year shows the desperation of Palestinian refugees trapped inside Yarmouk, shelled and besieged by the Syrian regime. The government is still attacking. Last night it dropped barrel bombs on Yarmouk's only hospital, which had been occupied by Islamic State militants. The two main Palestinian factions in the camp, one pro and one anti-Syrian government, used to fight each other. Now both are fighting IS. We, the brigades of Aknaf Beit al-Maqdis, will defend the camp with our blood, our soul and our sons. We are here to stay. Islamic State are the aggressors. Yarmouk is only six kilometers south of Damascus city center. IS fighters who've been building up their presence to the south of the city are said to have entered from al Hajar al-Aswad. There are daily battles on the streets of Yarmouk. IS has paid and persuaded some Palestinian fighters onto their side. The jihad is a less of an immediate threat to the Syrian government than to other rebels and civilians. You can see the houses are destroyed. We can't sleep on the top floors of the buildings. We have to sleep on the ground floor. We're so scared of this situation. Only fighters dare go outside in Yarmouk now. Islamic State still controls three quarters of the camp. Fragmented factions, shifting alliances, desperate civilians. The war in Syria, in just two square kilometers of the capital.